The neat part about the life or the lives of the saints is the fact that we venerate people who were in the Christian community all throughout history from the time of Jesus up until his present day. There are saints who encounter Christ and through his love and his grace become this holy and sanctified vessel who bring Jesus to others, to help people see Jesus in themselves, in the world around them. And this is the beautiful part about the hope and the love of Christ that's poured into our hearts at baptism, where we truly receive the life of God and we're immersed in it. One of the things St. Bernard says, if we venerate their memory, it serves us, not them. For the saints are in heaven, and we remember their lives. We remember how they became holy not by their own power, by their own intellect or strength, but it was always through the grace of God, encountering the sacraments, being strengthened by Jesus, to become holy persons that shine forth the love of God into a fallen world world. And often in our lives, our hearts can get stuck in the rocks of this earth. We can get tied down as if heaven didn't exist, and we weren't moving toward it. And we think and contemplate the lives of the saints. This is the beauty of their lives. They give us that heavenly vision. And as Christians, uh, we are truly taught by heaven. For did Christ not come from heaven? Or further, did he not rend the heavens and come down to draw us into his own life? And this is what the Mass is essentially, a sharing in the life of God, listening to his word, encountering his true presence. In a real sense, heaven comes to us. It encounters us. Divine love from all eternity speaks to us, teaches us, instills in our hearts that heavenly hope. Even in the midst of a war-torn world, a struggling economy, or an unsure future, the hope of Christ and that heavenly vision shines bright. A heavenly way was opened and no one can close it because God opened it through his own son to save his fallen creature, wounded and broken men and women, for the righteous and the repentant sinner. And this is the path the saints trod it. And this is the path we are on. So may we continue on and may we travel well, always centering our whole lives on Christ.